Hey, I'm Mark, and today we're going to be tinkering with rare earth magnets as well as a ceramic magnet. Uh, we're going to be dropping them into a copper pipe, aluminum pipe, into a copper pipe that I've cut into multiple layers. And uh, I'll be explaining to you what's happening and talking about what happens when you drop it through a stainless steel pipe, a gold pipe, and a silver pipe. Obviously, I don't have a gold pipe or a silver pipe. But the theory is that the uh, the copper and aluminum is, is obviously non-magnetic, but we know that when you, the flux of a magnet passes through copper, it generates electricity. So basically, we're going to be making a generator. Uh, it's powered by gravity. It weighs about two ounces. And when we drop it through the pipe, you can see how long it takes for it to fall through because it's generating electricity. I'll get my cameraman to move over and you can see what's happening. There's a flux field around the magnet and it is pushing the electrons, kind of like squeezing toothpaste. And kind of looks like the magnet is falling through oil or slow motion or defying gravity. We'll switch to an aluminum pipe next. Now aluminum is only 69% efficient at conducting electricity, so it's going to fall. Oh, sorry, it's going to fall 20, 31% uh, faster through aluminum. If I had a, um, go back to the copper. If I had a stainless pipe it would fall almost free fall because stainless is a very poor conductor of electricity if I had a stainless steel extension cord it would heat up when I used it silver is the best conductor of electricity and uh, copper is only 75 percent efficient compared to silver so if I had a silver pipe it would fall 25 percent slower than it is now now this magnet is it's a, um, an N54, it's three quarters of an inch by one inch cylinder. I found that this works the best. I've got another little one, but it's not quite big enough. It falls through pretty easy. And the ceramic magnet is really heavy for how powerful it is, and it's about a free fall. Not good at all. But when I drop it through the ones with all the rings we'll do it next my theory was that it would be producing electricity in each ring and that it would go even slower but it's that's not the case at all it does go slow but not as slow as if the pipe was one solid piece so Pretty neat watching it fall through there. Seems like it's, seems like we're doing trick photography, but we're not. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks.